In 1087, this was the center of the Christian kingdom of Yemrahana Christos. According to church chronicles, he commanded that a church should be built on top of a holy lake. Wow, that is quite a hike. That's a hike. Well, so that's the cave there? There's a cave. And the church is right inside? Just there. Incredible. Some believe the king was guided to this isolated spot by a vision. But the cave was also a practical choice. It shelters the church from the elements, preserving it for almost a thousand years. Look at this location. You climb all the way up here. I mean, no wonder they thought this was a sacred place. inside the cave, isn't it? All inside the cave. Incredible. Inside the gated enclosure that covers the mouth of the cave is the church, the king's palace, and a graveyard for thousands of pilgrims who died here. So this building here is the church. Oh, yeah, this is the church. The church was built up in alternating levels of wood and plaster mixed with stone chips, like a layer cake. But today, there's no sign of the lake of mystical healing waters that lured pilgrims from hundreds, even thousands of miles away, unless you know where to look. Oh, there's a door here. Yeah, if you look at it. Oh, yeah, look at that. OK, so that's the water underneath. Yeah. This is all wet underneath yeah. of here. Yeah. Some believe the original lake was actually swampy ground and the church foundation a framework of timber or bamboo that evenly distributed the weight of the building above, a technique known as grillage. The groundwater trapped beneath could then be accessed through hatches like this one. So the legend so is true. Uh, this is really floating on a, a, a yeah. secret lake. Yeah. So you can Holy water, if you will. Huh? 